Hello viewers, this is signing in Urmisha Potiwala from UrmishaDuel.com and you are watching the Prologue Programming video, especially for the beginner. Without wasting more time, let's begin with today's content. In this video, I am covering the topics called variables, rules and the unification process. So let's begin with variables first. Variables. Variables, the meaning of this variable in all the programming languages remains the same. Here in the prologue, it also remains the same as that the variable is an undefined or you can say unknown quantity. Now, the variable variables would be of three different types in this prologue programming. One is in bound, second one is a free and another one is an anonymous one. Now, these three you feel like there's in clumsiness or what is what all these right so let me tell you that variables the variables which are bound with a vari uh, with a value for a particular given time bound means initiated you know the value at a particular given time if the value has been assigned to a variable then it is called a bound variable and those variables which are not initiated or not defined at a particular given time then it is called a free variable and anonymous means no variable no value okay I know you've been a uh, little bit confused and turmoil with all these three varieties so I'll make you clear with an example that I have written over here the example is about bound free and anonymous here in the domain I have written two variables disease and indication with symbol as its object type in predicate I have written symptom as a relation name in the arguments I have passed disease and indication the two variables within the parentheses in clauses I have written three facts about, uh, about it uh, on the basis of flu and cold here in the flu indication would be chills cold would be the headache and again for the flu it's in cough now these are the facts now uh, in goal I'm writing a symptom cold comma indication here the symptom is a relation name in the predicate we can see that in the disease in the place of disease I've written the cold that means here the variable is bound for a particular given time with a value called cold so this disease has become a bound variable for a particular given time means when the go in the goal when you are returning something and in that particular given time if a variable is been bound or you can say it's initiated or defined with a particular value then it is called a bound variable here in the place of indication I have not initiated any value that means this variable is a free variable so you can see that in the database it's going to be checked in place of cold. So what is going to be an indication? So in the place of indication, the value that is in the result would be in the response I'll get headache. That would be only a one solution. So this is an example about bound and free variable. The next in the goal I'm writing symptoms with the hyphen comma chills. So this hyphen shows that the disease is become an anonymous variable. Anonymous variable means this variable is no variable. That means no value. Whether the value is true or not, it is not, uh, uh, the prologue will not bother about it. It will check only the chills, whether the chills is written in the database or not. In the fact, it is written about the chills, the flu. But here, in return, you will not get flu as a value. But instead of that, you just only get that true why so because this hyphen shows that the disease is a variable and this variable carries no value whether it is value or not it is uh, the prologue doesn't bother it's only going to check whether the indication in which there's a chills return or not if it is in the database that means it's a true I hope you all get cleared with the terms about variables and the example itself. Uh, now I'll make you uh, two things to be noted down that here in the domain I have passed do uh, disease and indication is equal to a symbol that means here the disease and indication are the variables 
I think you might be confused that in uh, why I am saying this. I must say about it's an object, but disease with a D capital and indication with I capital makes this both as a variable rather than an object. Object is always been in a lower case, but in va for variable, variable is always been written in upper case letter. And here is equal to a symbol. Now here the symbol is an object data type, but I'll make you clear that whenever a variable is being initiated in the form of a object, then me that means object is a variable and variable becomes an object. So that means here the object data type becomes a variable with the name called disease and indication. Now let's move on to a next topic that is the unification process. Now actually a unification process I would say is a pattern matching. Here whatever the in the predicates is written is being checked with your goal that in which you are writing something. So that means the relation name is checked, the arguments are being checked, the number of arguments are checked and the type of the arguments, everything is being checked in the unification process. This is what the process is. So let's uh, let's uh, read it what are the content about the unification is. Here the process by which a prologue tries to match a term against the fact in an effort to prove a goal is called a unification. So here whatever you are writing in a goal and that is being checked with the predicate and in the form of predicate in the fact basis then it is called a unification. So in short the process of matching the items with a variable is called a unification. So that means a pattern matching process. So the three points you have to keep in mind is the predicate unify with each other is if the same relationship name, same number of arguments has been passed and the arguments pair, pair are unified with each other. So let's see this with an example itself. Here I have written an example with a do in the domains I have written city and state as a two variables of string data type. In predicate I have written address as a relation name, city and state are the two arguments that is in variables were passed which is both are of string type. So all three things are being checked in the predicate. In the clauses I have written uh, address uh, in which the values are passed are Las Vegas, California, London, Ontario, Egg Harbor and New Jersey. These are the three facts that I have written. So in place of goal I am writing address in which London and Ontario has been passed. That means here the city is bound with a variable called London, state has been bound with a, va a variable uh, having a value called Ontario and both these things are being checked with a predicate as in relation um, address. So here all the thring three things are being uh, checked and verified with the term called uh, all these three points of predicate unify with each other process for a uh, pattern matching process. So in return you will get true. Why? So because this is a fact. Now in same we will move on to the next topic that is called a rule. Now rules is a expression that shows the truth of particular fact is depend on one or more fact. I mean to say that here the rules is a relationship between the facts. If two or more facts are true, then only the rule is true. Now just three things you have to keep in mind that the colon with an dash operator is called a break or you can say a rule sign. Comma is been expressed as in the form of and relationship, semicolon with an or relationship. So here let's see one example here that Jenny likes X if X likes badminton. That means the if condition makes that here if x likes the badminton, if this condition or this fact is true, then only we can say that Jenny likes x. Now this same condition I can write in the prologuing in the form of curl Jenny that means here the likes becomes my relation. Jenny is a value that has been passed comma the x. Jenny uh, means Jenny likes X if condition that is the rule condition with a rule sign 
that is called a break sign is written and in then I have wrote, uh, wrote one point like X likes the badminton and after that I have written the full stop that means if X likes the badminton then only we can say that this rule of Jenny likes X is true this is what actually the me meaning behind the rule concept I think uh, half of the portion you might be clear with it but let's see with an example here I have written the same example what I have uh, last, uh, last in the unification process written here the city and state with a string in predicate I have written address string comma string that means both the variables are of string type here in predicate I have written another one uh, predicate with a relation name go just a go in clauses I am writing go with a rule sign that means this go will true only if the address city comma state is true so in clauses I am writing here the go with full stop that means it's always going to be true here the address in which I am writing Las Vegas California London Ontario Egg Harbor New Jersey the same as that so let's see with it if in the goal I am writing address Las Vegas and California here the address is predicate name that is the uh, relation name Las Vegas and California are both of string type and it replaces the value uh, variab value of the variable city and state and in that I can see here that the address city comma state has been replaced and this will show the value true here in which the address city comma state has been checked with the Las Vegas and is as the value of Las Vegas and California is in fact that is in database is actually going to be true makes the sentence true that's why the goal is true and that makes the statement true in goal here I'm writing Miami comma Florida Miami and Florida with an address uh, relation name it is not in the database that means the clause in which I am writing go with a rule sign address city comma state so here the address city comma state that value is not in the database that's why the rule is false so here the value will be written false this is how the rule is being executed I hope your all points have been cleared and if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and you can visit my blog for more updates thank you very much for watching this video and keep updated and stay tuned for more videos with me thank you so much